You may have heard about the terror of the blank page or canvas, the fear of not being able to fill it, and the pressure of making whatever you put on it worthy. There's also the terror of realizing something has reached an end. And I think that's where I am right now. The ambiguity is killer. Folk legend David Crockett, aka Davy Crockett, once famously said, You may all go to hell, and I will go to Texas. Right now, they're kind of the same thing. Sometimes plans just don't come together. It's one of the realities in small towns, especially. But I'm also exhausted. So I occasionally accept that I just need a breather. But I like to use that time to research and ponder, which got me thinking. A few years ago, I had a pretty successful self-portrait series which got into a few shows and won a fancy award. That went downhill quickly, and we won't talk about that right now. Beyond that, from the ashes of that series sprang one that I like quite a bit. I made it into a couple of fancy shows, and photo legend Joyce Tennyson even gave me an honorable mention. I had a little burst of creativity a month ago, introducing raw elements, and it was something I liked. But I need to change something else, I think. And I'm still trying to figure it out. And that's part of art. You're at a, a phase often where you're trying to figure things out. You have an overall goal, but a lot of it's just testing. And, and I think sometimes it must be nice to know what you're doing, but I really feel like that's an unrealistic an unrealistic expectation and that maybe even if you already know what you're doing and you're comfortable with it and you can explain it maybe you shouldn't be doing it maybe you should be pushing it more as i go into a fresh perspective on making new work uh, i have this to say don't be like me i remember when youtube became a thing i hated it i avoided it for a decade only watching when i had to i posted sometimes but never much much intent then a couple of years ago, I took a design job and needed a brush up on Illustrator. So I watched a lot of YouTube tutorials and then I just kept watching and I was hooked. Basically it comes down to that I was cynical and because of that I missed out. So here I am at a crossroads trying to figure out where I go from here. I found this item to be quite interesting. It's in Ansel Adams' examples, the making of 40 photographs. It's this photo in the very back, this uh, graffiti on a military, an abandoned military installation he took in 1982, if you read his notes. And I found this very interesting because Ansel Adams is known more for those landscapes like, yeah, he's known for stuff like this much more, much, much more like this, especially. And instead you have that graffiti at the military installation which was near the very end of his life I think he died two years after this photo and he was talking about you don't you don't expect this from me do you basically and he was talking about all the care he took in making sure that these tones rendered white and that he had shadow detail and he 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 was doing something that was completely unlike his work but even at the very end of his life he was experimenting. And there's a whole other thing about the end of Ansel's career where people act like he didn't do anything important once he kind of started just teaching. He dedicated his life to teaching and people acted like he stopped taking important photos by the late 60s, I believe, maybe, maybe the early 70s. And here it is in 1982. And I think one day I realized that Ansel was not, was not the uh, wash up they like to think he was. Anyway, I really dig this book and I highly recommend it. And so I guess that's a book recommendation for the week. And I just think it's cool because Ansel, even in his, I think he was actually in his 80s, he he was still trying new things. And and that's not like he, he was the only person taking graffiti photos. I, But he was out there trying it. He, he was a god of landscape. He never had to take another photo after the 60s because no one thinks he did anyway. But there he was, still trying new things, still not being too cynical to take his same approach to that new 
area. Click subscribe, turn on notifications, and don't forget to click like on this video. I really appreciate it. Please give me your feedback. And I would be completely remiss if I didn't mention this amazing song that you heard in this episode is by the band Death Bells. The link is in the description. And you should go over to Bandcamp and buy their EP. It's super awesome. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on Wednesday.